Today we are with us our dear friend and dance professional, Dr. Denis Tan from Singapore, CEO of ODT Limited, Odyssey Dance Theatre Limited. So good morning, a good morning from Germany at least. A very good afternoon, uh, my dear friend Raphael. Thank you for inviting me to your show. So uh, our talk today is to know more about ODT International, which is one a part of ODT um, Limited, and uh, we'd like to uh, know more about the reality in Singapore. Your institution is very famous worldwide in the world of dance, but our audience maybe you know would like to experience more about. Uh, your activities. Could you tell today maybe more specifically about uh, one of your activities which is ODT International and how it did started this uh, activity? I see. Maybe I'll just give you a brief outline about what I've been doing for 20 years in running this arts uh, charitable organization in Singapore. Also Dance Limited actually is an arts charity which has six divisions. And one of these actually is ODT International. And together with this international relations, we have a dance company called Aussie Dance Theatre. So it's a little bit interesting because it's a quite a diverse scope of work that we do. So in terms of international relations, uh, we do have our ODT International to champion for our two international dance festivals. And Aussie Dance Theatre, as, as uh, I'm the founding arts director for 20 years, uh, it champions for Singaporean dance boys globally. Yeah, so in terms okay. of our international work, as I shared that we run festivals and we have a dance company and you will see us actually building a lot of uh, capacities, reaching out to artists, companies, institutions, uh, even for like your dance competition. We are very happy to be a part of it uh, where we really want to see how uh, with this work getting small or big, depending on how you see it. But I think we're very much connected. So in terms of uh, the arts promotion and development, we believe that we are in a big family. And this is why 20 years ago, when we launched ODT International and have founded the dance company, we believe that we are living in a global arts community that sharing and collaborating is very essential for a continual a growth and also, of course, now with the COVID situation, it's so much more important for us to understand what is international relations, what is international exchange, what is the meaning of international festival, what is the meaning of a dance company. So it has come to us as a very wonderful time after completed our 20 years in running Odyssey Dance Theatre as an arts institution, but looking at its diverse uh, work portfolios, in particular in terms of international relations, how do we continue to build good friendship and understanding? So this is why uh, after 20 years, we're still very much uh, aligned with what we believe in running our two international festivals, and they are namely Exposition Contemporary Dance Festival, which has been around for 20 years. And we have the other festival, which is Dance In, International Dances and Residency Festival, which started in 2004. You know, so it has been around for 16 years. So it has some form of history in Asia, but of course, in terms of reaching out to the world, there are more than things that we can do. Whereas for our dance company, we are very privileged that this dance company uh, has the capacity of running from a small capacity of 100 seats all the way to indoor stadium of 8,000 seating capacity. So it's a huge repertoire series in Asia. And more interestingly, if, if you happen to know about Asia, we don't have many international or other Asian dance companies who is running full-time operational or have regular dance seasons. So we are in a very privileged situation that we set up in 1999 in Singapore when Singapore had started to build its Resonance city. So 20 years ago, our government decided to develop Singapore as a cultural hub for the world. So I came back to Singapore at the right time um, to, in a way to align the government's direction to profile Singapore or position Singapore globally at the same time uh, in a way to open up the bridge um, between Singapore and the world through our dance. So this is a very interesting time and especially now with COVID uh, where you know that every country is handling COVID in a very different situation. So it gives us a very interesting outlook right now to review about what it means by international relations from Singapore perspective 
and how do we continue to connect with our friends from Asia, within Asia region, and of course, in terms of the wider continents reaching out to Europe, or even to the Latin America sector. So it's a huge uh, perspective of international relations that we are very concerned with. Audit International, we can say it's the department it's which is really focused on the international relationship of Odyssey Dance Theatre Limited. It's but certainly. Some duck, so to say. Yeah. So you can see in terms of Audit International, if you look into our website of Audit International, because we have designated website for each division and each function, actually. So if you look at Audit International, it has primarily talked about festivals, it talks about strategic alliances with certain organizations, such as your, your international competition, that we have this alliance with you. And it talks about our network framework that we do. We build programs. For example, we have networks with various arts markets or even in terms of dance platforms, you know. So we have been meeting many international delegates around the world. So we have various functions. And also, we also have capacity, capacity development. That means how do we support dance companies or artists within our international framework. So for example, like last December, we supported a Vietnamese dance group to perform in South Korea in a festival. So we do a lot more than just performing our festival, but looking at the, the framework that we have designed, how do we uh, cross prototype in terms of all these various activities to ensure there's a vibrancy, there's a continuous exchanges going on. Uh, otherwise, one isolate a program uh, will not be able to perform to the best of international relations. Sure. So you use your framework, the network you build up to share with other artists and support artists, uh, not only in Singapore, but within this framework you built up during Certainly. the no. So because our ultimate aim is really about supporting artists, companies, of course, ultimately the whole international arts community. So whoever dance companies or artists that we know or come to our festival, certainly we want them to be seen in more festivals through our platforms. Or artists that we actually support, whether we actually support them with commissions or with grants or even facilitate international exchanges, uh, we are more than happy to do so. Even right now with COVID, for example, like this November, we're going to run our residency festival for the uh, ninth edition. Uh, you will see that now in terms of traveling is difficult, but how do we still facilitate residencies across our border? You know, and so like, Europe is a very different uh, degree in terms of COVID measures. Right now, I hear my friend from Shanghai, uh, cinemas can be uh, able to open up to 75% in terms of sitting capacity. A lot. I'm saying right now we only test for 50 audience of today, you know? So you can see the varies in terms of COVID has brought to us is huge impact. So how do we realign in terms of the appropriateness for us to continue to function well, but of course in a different creative manner, but still able to exist in yeah. the COVID world? I, in this, I mean, I, I would go... Uh, you give me the assist for the next question, which is uh, exactly about pandemic, because I could observe on your social media channels, and you have diverse channels because of your many activities, uh, it's, uh, there is a clear uh, way in which you are reacting to the pandemic and to COVID and how you are displaying on, on the internet all these efforts. And uh, could you tell us a bit more? For us, it's a very wonderful time because we have completed our 20 years of journey in running the whole entire organization and seeing that our mechanism that been been put in place for the last 20 years finally been testified during the COVID time. For example, in terms of uh, digitalization where the whole world has been talking about but we're very blessed that we have always been archiving our works, documenting our processes, investing lots of the uh, tools and support towards building the capacity in the research and development. So when COVID came about, and especially right now, where we happen to coincide with our plan uh, in launching our books, launching our activities online, so everything seems to be coming to a very beautiful outcome of our years of hard work in building capacity of running our organization, understanding that our dance voice is not just restricted on stage. Yeah. From day one, we believe that in order for us to be able to reach out 
to any audiences around the world, uh, it's not just about seeing your works on stage. What yeah. about other ways of reaching? So this COVID has come to the point to give us more options, uh, more possibilities, and also define ourselves clearly. Who do we want to send the message to? For example, in, in a very usual context of running a show, let's say today you have a dance performance. Most probably is you market and promote, right? And then you expect the public audience to buy your tickets, right? Yeah, so that's a generic way. But I think in a, in a way for us to run forward or to move forward is to really look at who are your audience? Same thing. If today you can just post a video online, yes, you may reach the whole world, but you may not know who actually will be rich. So I think it's a very interesting time. So for us, by diversification, you know, which is what we believe in, multitasking is what we believe in from day one. Uh, that's why you see our dance company operates very differently as compared to a normal dance company in Singapore. I think all this all will share with us the understanding of how do we constantly see growth in the industry? How do we foresee our future? Uh, how it's not about right or wrong, but where do you see your heading towards too? Because ultimately, for us like ourselves uh, as Aussie Dance Limited, uh, we have a big mission: inspiring lives, celebrating moments through excellence in dance and arts. I wanted to go back to the international. I mean, you. I had a few questions, but you answered already all of them, mm. and uh, it's great because uh, everything is flows very well, and it's very nice to to follow you. We uh, start together this year uh, to cooperate uh, with ODT International as a solo choreographico dance festival and award. Um, this year we will, because of COVID, of course, uh, uh, we, we cannot have you with us. It's, um, it's, a, it's a pity, it's really a big pity. But we are here now uh, uh, with this interview to witness our cooperation and friendship. And uh, you will um, participate with Audit International also with a dance solo. And uh, this makes us very happy because the solo is going to be part of our online festival program during the week between the 5th and the 10th of October to watch and uh, experience this online material. Is there a specific platform where we should land on internet or there are these different websites where we, can, we have to uh, uh, log in or so to say to, to have this contact? Actually, we are very happy that all my program booklets, all my last 20 years of performances are online and you can access to our main corporate website which is www.ocdancelimited.com if not you can go into our specific OTT media you know that will give you a comprehensive outlook in terms of all the uh, press all the books all the videos all the links you know so I think it's quite easy just type Danny Tan Google or dance or Aussie dance you'll get everything we'll, we'll Google you Danny, it was such a pleasure to have you with us today. It's great that we can talk from Frankfurt to Singapore. I think this is yes. amazing. It's thrilling and it was nice to see you again. And uh, I'm really glad that the audience could meet you this morning because, um, you know, sometimes uh, our partner and friends, uh, they know just the logo of their organization on our program, but there is incredible people behind it with huge team, uh, enormous and great careers. And uh, you're doing so much for dance. And uh, I'm really happy that Solo Choreographico Dance Festival and the world this year will start a cooperation together with you. And I hope this will bring you a long way together. And um, so thank you so much for being with us, Danny. Thank you very much for the opportunity and see you soon. Ciao.